As I get ready to start the keto diet plan Verda is recommending, I thought I would look at some of my most frequently eaten foods and see which ones will have to go. Because I've been tracking my eating for the past month and a half, I have a pretty good indication of what my go-to foods are and whether or not they can make the cut when it comes to keto. The first item is not a food, but a drink, and that's whole milk. Whole milk, unfortunately, is going to have to go. I currently drink at least 8 ounces of whole milk a day. Unfortunately, 8 ounces of whole milk has 12 grams of carbs, all from sugar. That puts it far off the scale of something I can have. I'll need to replace that with heavy cream, which has 7 grams of carb from sugar per 8 ounces. Of course, I won't be using 8 ounces anymore. I'll probably be closer to 2 or 3 ounces for 2 to 3 carbs. I'll be putting that in my coffee. My next most frequent food is bananas. That's another food that just isn't going to make the cut. A banana has about 30 carbs, 17 from sugar. One banana would equal my entire day's allotment of carbs, so off it goes. I'm really going to miss bananas. Fruit, with few exceptions, will be off my list for the time being. For a snack, I'll most likely replace it with celery, which has just a single gram of carbs per stalk. Of course, I'll need something to dip it in, which brings me to the third item on my list. My third most frequent food is peanut butter, specifically Skippy No Sugar Added Peanut Butter. This one I'll have to eat sparingly, but I might still have on occasion. It has four total carbs for two tablespoons. That's not terribly high, but I'll have to limit myself to using this as a treat. The most likely replacement for peanut butter will be cream cheese, which has two grams of carbs for two tablespoons. That's more workable. I'll have to see what it tastes like to combine the two. Maybe I can make a hybrid. The other replacement option I can see is cheddar cheese, which has one gram of carbs per ounce. I believe they count cheddar cheese in the protein category since there are seven grams of protein per ounce. I see a lot of cheese in my future. The other replacement for peanut butter is nuts. I'm allowed a serving of nuts a day. Nuts seem to have more carbs than they would commonly allow, but I remind myself that the beauty of nuts is they don't fully digest. Some of the calories go right through you. My next most frequent food item is roast beef. This is a food that I get to keep. It's on my protein list. I'll have to have some fat with it, butter or cheese, but at least I get to keep eating it. Roast beef doesn't have carbs, but it does have to fit into my allotment of protein for the day. They don't want you to go overboard on protein. Keto is high fat and medium protein. The next item on my list is pickles, usually a half pickle or a spear. These get to stay. They have no carbs. Verda doesn't list them as a preferred item, but I do see cucumbers on their list, and pickle is just a cucumber with extra steps. Next on my most frequent list is celery. I've already discussed that above, but suffice to say it'll be staying on my list. The next two items are both bread items. Those are right out. Verda recommends lettuce wraps for your sandwich, which I've done before and is workable, but uh, <laughs> it's not my favorite. The item after that is potato. Goodbye, potato. I will miss you. A typical russet potato has 26 grams of carbs. They're just off the list, which will be a hard thing to replace. I love potatoes. The recommended replacements are vegetables like cauliflower, asparagus, broccoli, and zucchini. They may be eaten in place of potatoes, but they'll never replace them. We're getting to the end of the list of my most frequent foods, and uh, now we're at ground beef. Ground beef is definitely allowed in moderation, so that's good news. The hamburger can stay as long as it's wrapped in lettuce and covered in cheese. I can live with that. Those are my dietary staples for the most part. I'll do my best to enjoy some of the soon-to-be-forbidden items before the keto officially starts. Let me close up with the numbers. I weighed in today at 303.1 pounds, a pound higher than yesterday. And we'll keep an eye on that. As well as the 134 fasting blood glucose, which is higher than I've been trending. My active calories yesterday were 1,089, which is a great number. I counted 13,726 steps. I'm always happy when I get over 13,000 steps, so that makes for a great exercise day overall. My calories consumed were 2,146. That's a good number. I got no complaints there. I've been emphasizing numbers recently, so I'm going to limit to just those tonight. I'll leave you with my Sir Terry Pratchett quote of the day. This one is from Small Gods. Brother tried to put it out of his mind, which was like trying to empty a bucket underwater. Thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please comment, and I'll see you tomorrow.